Republicans like you. Donnie, the president's recording here. I cannot believe. Here I am trying to watch the TV. And here we go with this Brenda Snipes woman. And all of these mysterious boxes landed everywhere. Well, just this morning, Mom went to open up our big 50-pound bag of our food, and I believe she found a couple of ballots in there. Donnie, the presidential corgi here. Oh, thank God. This is over with the Kavanaugh issue. It was really draining. We are so tired. We are so blessed. But remember, guys, the fight is not over. You gotta get out and vote. November 6th, you gotta vote red. Vote red. We're tired. We're gonna fight. It's not over. Can you please show Jim Acosta out from CNN? Jim Acosta, please get out of the room. Donnie, the presidential corgi, decided he will not come out to speak. He feels that a bunch of yous are fake news and will not get the story correct. You twist everything up. You're fake news. Donnie, the presidential corgi here. Hey, Mom, these two outside the door are claiming they live here. And also, when I asked to show proof, one said to cut the shit. She don't need to show proof, even though she comes from Wales. They're corgis from Wales. I don't know. They look like a gang to me. You listen here, Donnie, the presidential corgi. I don't need security clearance. I live here. <laughs> Excuse me. I have to take a bath now. Are you finished pooping? I need my privacy. Donnie, the presidential corgi here. Okay, I decided I have to take a bath. I'm going to use this tub. The instruction says to step in. Oh, does my butt look big? <laughs> then it says, turn water on. Okay, I'm going to do that. But who shuts the door? Oh, boy. Hermione thinks I look like a corgi my pillow. Tony, the presidential corgi here. stay awake anymore. All you keep talking about makes me tired. I gotta take a nap. All you talk about is impeachment, impeachment, impeachment. Guess what? It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Harry Potter here. And right behind me is my sister. Her mind. Mom's outside. We're listening. She's Talking to the police. Yesterday, my sister Hermione went out to take her girly stroll. And as she was walking down the street, somebody, it looked like another corgi, came up behind her and pinched her in her corgi butt. <laughs> so mom is upset because it looks like this corgi thinks he's somewhere in Italy, where they do things like that. But you know what? We're in the USA, and we have manners. Nobody, including my sister, should have to stand for something like this. If the police don't do something, I'm just going to have to get my wand. I'll show him. Nobody's going to pinch my little sister's corgi butt. Good morning, it's Friday. And I'm Harry Potter, the corgi. You know, I didn't want to have to say this, but the mainstream media really makes me sick. I guess it's time that I got to mix up a potion. That's right, going to get my wand and poof. They're going to be gone with all their fake news. Hey, Nazario. This is your...
your buddy, Harry Potter. And we want to wish you a happy birthday. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Nazario. Happy birthday to you. We love you. We miss you. When are you coming back? Hi, everyone. This is Donnie, the presidential corgi. Today is National Prayer Day. I'm laying out here at the grotto because I have to rest. I went to the doctor today and I had to get a shot. But I'm a big boy and mom was proud of me. So today while I'm out here, I have already said my prayers for all you guys, all the fur babies, and also for our president, our country, his family, and just everyone. If you could just take a few minutes out of your time today, prayers are free. Just stop for a moment and say a prayer. We need all the prayers we can get. We have to come together as a country. So, amen and bless you all, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is Donnie, the presidential corgi. I hope that everybody will just take a few minutes and listen to my message. It's very upsetting each day to see how our president, Donald J. Trump, each day is working hard. He's done so many things since he's gotten into office. But each day, this poor man has to deal with a tax. And it's not just a tax on him, but it's a tax on all the people, like my moms, that voted for him. Each day, there's something new that we have to listen to or hear instead of the mainstream media talking about all the good things that are going on for our country. All the good things. And they just don't get it. All they're doing each day, especially with leaks, so many leaks that are coming out, it's disgraceful. And I agree with President Trump. It's a witch hunt. And it needs to stop. <laughs> President Trump wants to just do the best for this country and we have to move along. And they just don't seem to get it. They're mad because their candidate didn't win. And that's sad. That's not how we should be as a country. We had an election, and President Trump won. And he won fair and square. But they don't care. There are even people I heard today that have paid big money. Can you believe this, guys? Big money. To take our president out and don't care about who the people voted for. That is sad. I hope every day that this investigation and this craziness of our president having to answer 50 questions, made up questions, that's because they want to trap him. That is very sad. We have more important things that needs to go on, and he's doing that. He's working for our country. Look at the economy. Look at jobs. Look at the stock market. Everything's going well. And I'm upset. And even other fur babies are upset. And we want it stopped. They're trying to take our president down. And we people and fur babies, we can't let this happen. So we got to continue to fight. But we got another problem. Facebook. Facebook is continuing to censor us. You might not even hear this message. This is sad, very sad, as a country. We should all be coming together. Let President Trump do his job. He's doing a great job. And instead, the mainstream media wants to talk about garbage, trash, garbage, each day. It must end. President Trump is doing a 
great job. We love you, President Trump. Thank you all for listening to me, and I hope you get this message. But you might not, because Facebook and its algorithms is blocking all us conservatives. That's a shame. It must stop. Thank you, everyone. Good morning. Each morning when I get up, I look up at the sky. I tell God how grateful I am that he gave me two great moms who have given me a great home. Also, that they named me after the greatest president. Well, it's the only president that I know, but I'm fortunate as a corgi that we have our president, Donald J. Trump. I'm happy I was named after him. I also thank God that my moms voted for him since they taught me what all the voting process is about. So I hope when I get big, I'm going to vote. Plus, I'm happy that Hillary Clinton is not our president. Because you know what, guys? We would not even know all the things that are going on. And like my mom says, Deb, the horrible Deb, she says that it would have all been shoved under the rug. And then I say to Mom, Mom, what's a rug? Oh, we can't have any. Because you'll go on it and poop. So that's why we don't have a rug. But I'm always grateful. And I thank my God. Amen. So the press wants to know how we feel. I'll tell you how we feel. We feel that it ain't nothing stopping us now. There ain't no stopping us now. We're winning. We're with you, President Trump. We're winning. And we're on this Trump train. We just keep winning. There ain't no stopping us now. No stopping us now. We're on the moon. That's right, that's right, that's right. There ain't no 